there everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for simonsystamp.com and I have a video for you showing you how to add Chibitronic LED lights to your cards. So I have a panel here that I have embossed and watercolored and I also have a backing sheet of smoke cardstock and then a fog card. I have die cut some little stars and I have die cut those from white paper and I've added a hole in the center to two of those so I can get a really good direct light through my card. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and place my stars down where I want them on my card front and I'm just using a pencil here and drawing a little circle and this will allow me to use my Japanese screw punch and add some holes. So I'm going to go ahead and slide my healing mat right underneath and I use this old Japanese screw punch. I've had it forever, but if you have a hole punch, you can go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to go ahead and create my two holes. Then I'm going to place my panel onto that smoke cardstock. And again, I'm going to draw those circles. And when I remove this, you'll be able to see. And I'll do the same thing by using my screw punch to add holes to this panel. Next, I am using my front panel to go ahead and create some marks onto that fog cardstock. So I'm just marking through both of those holes that I've already cut. And then I'll lift this up and I'm going to give myself another mark of where I want my press point or the battery to sit. So when I remove those you can see that I have my marks and now it's time to add my battery. And I have a piece of paper here, it's just regular printer paper and I've just folded it over, added a little bit of adhesive to the back and I'm going to go ahead and place that right on the X that I have marked on where I want to press down on my card. So now I want to start mapping out where I'm going to put my copper tape. And so I'm marking up my negative mark. So I've gone on the top of both of my little X's and now I'm going down onto this flap of the paper. And that will be my negative. Next I'll map out my positive. And I want to make sure that I have left enough room in between so that the terminals will touch on that copper tape. So I'll go ahead and mark that. So by taking the backing off of that copper tape, I am going to go ahead and follow those lines that I have penciled out and go ahead and just tape that down and fold over the corners when you need to. It does help if you fold it forward and then kind of get a little bend going on. I'm sorry that it's kind of hard to see on this video, but just go ahead and follow your lines and try to make the best corners that you can. It's okay if you have wrinkles in your copper, you just don't want to tear it to where you might lose any of the connections. So I'm finishing this up and I'm ending up on the little X area that I had or just um, below it and then you can go ahead and rip off the excess. Now that I have all this put down, I'm going to go ahead and grab my bone folder and I can just go ahead and press this around and it smooths out that copper tape really nicely. So I'm going to work on my positive terminals now and I'm going to follow that line and I want to make sure that I don't touch the negative on that left side. And again, I'll start making my bends here. And I found if you go forward a little bit and then back down, it works a little bit better. So I only have one bend on this. I'm going to go ahead and remove that battery. And so I want to land this right down on my paper where that X is. And I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit out of camera range. I'll go ahead and push this up here in a second. So you can see I've landed it right down on that X and now I'm just using my bone folder to smooth everything out. Next I'll be grabbing my Chibitronic lights and these are little stickers and the top of them in the pointy area is the negative and then the bottom is the positive. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I put both of those down to where those little terminals are touching. So now I can go ahead and place my battery down and shut my paper here and I need to press my lights down just a little bit more and I'll use my bone folder to press those down. But I do have a connection so I know that's working. So all I have to do is just grab my bone folder and press that right into that copper tape. And now I have both lighting. I do like to test these out a few times um, while I'm going along and making my card. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit of adhesive to hold that battery in place. I do have a corner of that negative 
copper tape that is kind of close, so I want to make sure that that battery doesn't shift around and touch that other terminal. So now that's really nice in place and I can test that out to make sure everything's still working. I do want to add some foam tape around my battery and depending on your foam tape you either need two or three layers so you want your foam tape to sit above the battery. This way the lights won't turn on unless you're actually pressing on the card. So once I have it sealed up I'll go ahead and test again to make sure everything's working well. Next I'm adding foam tape all around this card the same height as the battery so I can go ahead and put my top panel right on top. So I can go ahead and peel off the rest of that adhesive backing and go ahead and press everything down in place, make sure that I've got all the backing up from all the other areas. So once I've checked I can go ahead and press that down and I'll turn this around and since I am pressing in that area my lights are going on. So I have a really nice direct light coming through those holes. So all I need to do next is to add my little stars. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of those and wipe it off. I don't want any of the glue to go down into the hole. So I'm just kind of wiping that off with my finger and then I can put those down in place. These lights are really strong and they will show through a single layer of watercolor paper if you want a really nice soft light. But for this card I wanted a really nice direct light so I've put the holes in the center. So next I'll be adding my smaller stars to the bottom and this will be my press area. And I'll add a little note in my card to let the recipient know to press here. Okay, now I have everything done and I think I'm kind of just having fun pushing on that. Here's a really nice close-up look and so the recipient just needs to press right there on the star to shine up their card. I think these lights really add a lot to your card making and it's really fun as well. So I hope I've given you some insight on how these work and how easy they can be to use. And as always, thanks so much for watching.